Hey there, smartphone fans. If you're looking for that perfect 18 by 9 budget phone with huge battery, but you want NFC at an affordable price? Well, you might have found it. Welcome to my Ukitil K6 unboxing and first impressions video. This is a very new budget phone from one of the better smaller companies from China, from Ukitil. And it has like really, really good selling points like a huge 6,300 mAh battery, 6 gigs of RAM, the new Hero P23, and the Full HD Plus 6 inch 18 by 9 display, and of course, NFC chip and Android 711 Nougat with Face ID unlock. Inside the package, you could have done very well, providing USB Type C, 3.5 mm headphone jack converter, OTG cable, fast charging charger, and an additional silicon case for protection. And now, as always, I'll check if the specs are actually real, and they are Helio P23 Octa Core, the latest budget chip from MediaTek. 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of on-board storage, 4 HD plus real 18.9 display, real NFC, all the sensors you need, a real 6300 mAh battery, and a 60 megapixel main camera with a 30 megapixel front camera. While in the back and on the front are made by Samsung actually. And the phone is quite the looker with the glass metal back, which uh, will support wireless charging thankfully. And as a quite a looker, I got the black device, but there's also a blue one selling. And let's check out where all the action is. On the bottom you have a noise cancelling microphone where it should be and a USB type C. On the right side you have the power and the volume rocker and on the left side you have the SIM tray. And on the top you have nothing because this phone does not have a 3.5mm headphone jack. It's a shame because it's a thick phone and I could have actually put that in. But I will not complain because the sound quality from that USB type C is much better than from 3.5mm headphone jack. Yes. Uh, Headphone jack lovers deal with it. Okay, so now onto the device itself. First of all, the display is striking on this thing. Great, just absolutely great, great display. And it doesn't have grill glass or some kind of autophobic coating protection. And the NFC works great, of course, with the Android 711 Nougat. This is the first phone with NFC from Ukitil that I've ever seen. And it also has Face ID unlock with the front camera since there are two front cameras. On the front and it actually does work from the few tests I've done here inside but you have to hold it pretty close to your face and straight so it's not as good as the iPhone X for instance the huge battery comes with a bigger yes weight the phone comes with around 260 grams it also packs a QR code scanner and a steps counter or pedometer inside and the software experience is absolutely light, breezy and very straightforward. Absolutely stock Android 7.1.1 Nougat, no bulkware inside, just a few helpful uh, little additions. You can have the like the force touch thing on some apps uh, to open additional settings for quicker navigation if they are on your home screen. But of course you have also an app drawer. This is a Google certified device and it comes with all Google services. Uh, even Google system working perfectly pre-installed. Here and again, you can check Android 711 Nougat and all the specs in about phone. This is, uh, I got updated to the latest version and it, very nice, has a December 2017 security patch. So this is, I think the best one I've ever seen when it comes to a security patch. And they did upgrade the Ukitil Mix to the January one. So I'm expecting this one to be upgraded as well. Um, the display is quite, quite look here and the UI is very simple to navigate and very very easy it's a very responsive phone very fast and i do like that it has a phone manager where you can just clean your cache like choose which apps to auto start and things that um some other chinese companies really don't offer that and it's a very it's a hidden thing it's not like in your face both where up it's if you want to it's there you can use it if you don't want you can't use it the core quality on this phone was very very good so the band connectivity Great, you have 4G everywhere in Asia and in Europe, but it's limited to the US and Canada, so do check if your local operator supports these bands. GPS on this device was excellent. MediaTek get a lot of stick because of the GPS, but this one has great GPS connectivity. Benchmarks were also very well. This new Helio P23 is actually better than the Helio P25, um, and even better than the Redmi 5 Plus with Snapdragon 625 I got in benchmarks, that is. Uh, especially I was surprised that Ukitil have packed much faster storage than Xiaomi have done with their budget phone 
very nice look detail. Thank you very much. Because the storage speed actually allows the phone not only to run fast, but to stay fast over time. And I think that's something that all of you out there really, really want, like myself. And the phone feels super snappy, opening, uh, closing apps for this the short time I've tested. This is a very, very responsive, very fast device. So definitely a decent daily driver here. This plays 10 point capacitive screen. I said this definitely Google Glass or something like that on top of it, so besides the screen protector, because this have all the phobic coating. And the display brightness is immensely great, almost as good as any AMOLED I've ever seen. Uh, and this is like half brightness outside direct sunlight, doing absolutely no problem. So, again, great display here. And of course, doing 18 by 9 content really takes the cake on this phone. And with the huge battery, I think you'll be able to do that for long hours, like 15, 20 hours on a single charge. But I need more time to fully test the device. The cameras are perhaps the same ones as the Yukitil Mix 2. So do you expect similar camera quality? Um, probably not like amazing cameras, but definitely should be okay for daylight and in some even some indoor shots. But I'll have to do a full review on that next week. So you can buy the Yukitil K6 from the link in the description below. Give the video a thumbs up and you can share it so your friends can enjoy it as well. And of course, tune in next week for my full review of the Yukitil K6. And if you want, you can also check out more reviews I got on my channel. Thank you and peace out.